to you. Thank you, Jana. A potential new clue in a 30-year-old cold case surrounding the murder of a 10-year-old girl in Western Mass. Plus, a remarkable connection between this case and another cold case involving the abduction and murder of a Warren girl. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live in studio with the story. Paris. Chris, Mary Holly Perinian was abducted and murdered back in 1993 when she was just 10 years old. Now, at the time of Mo Holly's murder, Molly Bish was also 10 years old. She was taken and murdered nearly seven years later. The family of Holly Perinian standing next to Hammond District Attorney Anthony Galuni on Wednesday as they plead for the community's help. It's just been a long road, and I pray that the person responsible for this will confess, come forward or at least someone that he knows who may have a conscience would do the right thing now and contact the police. On Wednesday, investigators asked the public for any information relating to this white tank top with pink, purple, and blue letters that read Boston on the chest. They describe it as a piece of evidence in the cold case of Holly's unsolved murder. The 10-year-old was abducted from Sturbridge in 1993. Her body found a few months later in Brimfield. The tank top also found at that scene. Heather Bish remembers Holly's story as she grew up in Warren, Massachusetts. Unfortunately, seven years later, she would experience the same pain as the Perinian family when her sister Molly Bish went missing and was later found dead. Heather tells the story of how Molly wrote a letter to Holly's family back when she went missing. My sister was a very empathetic person, and so she wrote um, the family a letter and that included a picture, a fam our, one of our family pictures. And when Molly went missing when she was 16, Holly's family brought that same letter to the Bishes, hoping to provide them some comfort. They came to our house with this letter and said, you know, did you remember that Molly did this? And of course we had not. Um, remembered that and so it connected our family. Heather was pleased to hear the news that there was an update in Holly's case. However, she can't help but wonder when she will get answers in her sister's case. The Bish family has asked that Molly's case be given to Diego Looney instead of being handled by the Worcester District Attorney's Office. She says just like Holly, her sister was abducted in Worcester County and her body was found in Hamden County. Western Mass News asked Diego Looney if there's been any discussion in this change. Yeah, I believe that case is being competently handled by other investigators, um, and I, I, I pray for them and I hope for them. We also reached out to the Worcester DA's office, which sent us a statement that reads in part, quote, We have made several significant advancements in this case, including evidence that has led to a person of interest. We will continue to follow the evidence. And the Hammond District Attorney's Office has set up a tip line for Holly's case. Anyone with information is urged to call 413-426-3507. Reporting live in studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News. Paris, thank you.